let's remember, accusations are serious, but equally serious, in fact, more serious are accusations that are false. And the issue of false accusation is there from the time of the Prophet ﷺ and before. If we had social media at the time of the Prophet ﷺ, one wonders what would have happened to Aisha radiallahu anha when they accused her of adultery. One wonders what would have happened. At that time, there were a few people spreading the tales. Allah says, just by spreading that which was not completed through a justice system, you are already guilty. And Allah says, you will be served the punishment by Allah. So you don't get away when you accuse someone. That is something very serious because we have to strike a balance between helping a victim who is really a victim and trying to get justice for them through the proper legal channels. Or on the other hand, we also have to protect those who are being falsely accused. These two are rights that we owe everyone and everyone owes us as well. If I'm a victim, I would like justice. And I want people to help me. But at the same time, if I'm being accused falsely, I also need people to help me. So where do we draw the line? We are believers. We need to know. Concrete evidence has to be brought forward properly by those who are making the accusation. And if that's not going to happen, then uh, the, the person who is accused would actually have to Present, uh, take an oath by the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to clarify their name and they would be considered innocent. May Allah protect all of us 